gate out and we're going to install a new gate for safety and security uh, because this is old rotted wood it's flimsy so what we're going to do is uh, just make it more secure for him and his wife open the hinge you can't it's reloaded we're going to put the new hinges on the storm door reattach the storm door to the front door and that'll be our last project today we'll be all finished up now just the key holes I was painting, um, so I'm doing a lot of the trim and kind of um, taping off and just painting the side of the house. It's, it's a long job, it seems like we're doing so much, but I mean, sure it'll all come together. So it's, it's a lot of hands putting in a lot of work, little projects, and it'll, it'll be great at the end. We've got about half of the house done. We've taped everything off, um, kind of gotten the borders on things, and now we're, we're focusing on the main canvas of, of the wall. It's gonna look really clean and polished. I, I can see a lot of the changes already coming along with the front yard and the rocks. Um, you just see hands moving back and forth and the wheelbarrows going, so we know that we're doing, it'll all be worth it in the end. During this project, um, and just thinking of how I'm gonna feel after it's done, um, it's, it's a great feeling, just knowing that we did something to make somebody's day or their life a little bit better. You know, the neighbors will come through and they'll see this house. He'll drive into his driveway um, at the end of the day and he'll come home to a nice house that um, was kind of helped put together by strangers. Strangers coming together to help somebody in the community. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that we could be a part of it. I was raised in a military household. My father spent 28 years in the Navy. And any time that my, me personally or our organization can give back to a veteran, it's always going to be our first choice. You know, they've given everything for our country. Uh, their families have given everything for our country. And there's, there's no greater cost that I can do than to help them out as much as we can. I'm just very grateful to have been a part of this. I think Mr. Hill, I thank him for his service. Some time ago, they sort of wrote a blank check. Um, and some people paid an ultimate sacrifice, and maybe some people sat at a desk in a really safe room and just did paperwork. But all of those things um, were a sacrifice, and they contributed to the work of the military. Um, like I said, that's a blank check. You never know that's going to go. And I think that we kind of have a responsibility to, to appreciate that in perpetuity. The willingness to make th that kind of a sacrifice, particularly at such a young age. We're a business that's based on you know, the First Amendment, the Bill of Rights, you know, freedom of speech. And, you know, veterans going all the way back to the Revolutionary War essentially fought for the birth of this nation for those very rights. So we do what, you know, what we do today because of the sacrifice of all our veterans. It's really important for us to have people know that we're invested in the community. Our mission is a philosophy of people helping people. And so it's an opportunity for us as we go into an area or where we have a presence in an area for us to make a difference in those um, communities, for people to not only know we're here to help you provide for your financial needs, but for your well-being as well. To have uh, the opportunity to be a part of blessing uh, Mr. Hill and, and his family and just say thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being on this planet at the same time as we are here and and this is from our heart to yours and, and let him know that that we're blessed to be a part uh, of his life and uh, and i think that that connection that's the aloha that's the essence of doing life together of being in a community a common unity something that binds us together What I believe and what I think about these young people that uh, volunteered their time on to uh, make my house look like uh, like something, uh, as I told them all on yesterday, I uh, all of you, uh, I feel. I mean, I know you're all angels sent from heaven. So I want to thank you to, for everybody. I'm so proud of everybody, you know, and I'm grateful. Because it's it's a sacrifice. I mean. It was. I mean, it's, yeah, it's easy to come out in a team from a, a cup, but nevertheless, this is still your personal time on the weekend. And that's a hard thing for people to give up. Uh, so uh, that's more than anything I can, uh, 
I cannot uh, pay people. You cannot pay people for their time when they volunteer. And it's a, but it's very dear and near to my heart that they did this for us. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. Both of these uh, organizations, they sent people in full force and they did a great job and they were all friendly and very professional and they all uh, showed uh, respect to me. So I'm very, I'm very grateful to all of them. Here at KTNB, service to the community is at the core of what we do. It's one of our guiding principles and that's why we feel like it's our duty to give back whenever we can.